All right, hey everybody. Uh, this is Beat Breaker Huey. Uh, a while back, I made a video on my phone on how to uh, configure a uh, Maya 44 to work with four decks, and uh, I just, I'll do it again. This time it'll be a lot better quality this time. But anyways, what I'm working with two Tech 1200s, Asus running Vista, and a uh, Eckler New 04. It's a uh, four channel MIDI mixer. I love the thing. Wish I had some more knobs and buttons, but, anyways, enough of that. First off, what we're going to need is a, uh, of course, the uh, Maya 44. You're going to need a four channel mixer, four, five, six, eight, nine, however many channels you want to run. Suppose we could do it, but uh, we need another sound card. But anyways, then we're going to need. Yeah, it's a mess back here. Uh, you're gonna need four sets of RCAs, obviously one for uh, each channel, four decks. Then you're going to need four of these little things. I don't know what the name is. It's the male end and then the uh, two female ends. So once you get the four RCAs and four of these connectors, this is what I want you to do. I want you to take, uh, plug these up. One second. Plug all four like so. Okay. Now I want you to take the other end with the two males, obviously. Take that over here. That is going to go. Those are going to go into your mixer. Whichever channel you want, remember. I I write the numbers on them. It's channel 2, but you can do you can mark it tape Right on it. However, however you want to do it, to get the job done. That's how you're gonna do it. So, next, let's pull these out. I've already got uh, the other ones all lined up and assembled, so it's a tangled mess back here. I've been testing out different boxes and configurations, and I must say, shit is just working great. Love it. And so what we got here is four, four sets as you can see, there you go, one, two, three, four, alright, let's get those up here out of our way. Next, let's, uh, I'm by myself, so yeah, again, I'm not by myself, my kids are upstairs, but there, there we're doing something. But anyways, go ahead and plug in your turntable. Make sure you have it grounded to your mixer. Go ahead, plug your uh, left turntable into one and two. Take your right turntable, plug that into three and four. Next. I want you to take whichever one you have for channel one and plug that into see where it says uh, analog out one. That's where we want to go. Next, deck two, channel two, whatever you want to call it, into analog two. And so on. Three. Deck three into three. And deck four into four. Now, let's go ahead and fire up uh, the DJ. And, uh, 
already have already have the uh, settings already in here but I'll give you the rundown so first off what you're gonna do is hit your settings or config button excuse me this is my skin by the way sweet scratch 4 but anyways hit uh, we're gonna hit the settings button bring up the settings menu and we're gonna go hit advanced config now once that pops up it should be blank okay there should be nothing on the screen you shouldn't see anything but like I said I already have this I already have it set up so what you want to do is up here you're gonna see this says mono channels yeah, here we go mono channels I want you to tick that there should be a check mark in it once there's a check mark in it everything's gonna be in twos so we're gonna come down here you're gonna you click on this well what you should do is you're gonna click on it you're going to pick you're gonna pick deck one and you're gonna you're gonna go down to the next one you're gonna have another deck one so basically you're gonna have two deck ones two deck twos two deck threes two deck fours and now next to them I want you to push left and right there'll be one that says left and right and then in this drop down you're gonna pick the Maya 44 mm. let's see if we can get that a little clearer I want you to pick the uh, Maya 44 USB audio as your driver. So I'll scroll down, pick that. Output. Output 1. Because remember, over here, we have uh, your channel 1, left and right, coming out of analog out 1. Okay? So you need to reproduce that over here on your config screen. That's why you have the doubles of everything. Okay, see how it says output one. Then you're gonna come back over and you're going to do the same thing for deck two. Pick deck two twice. Then you're gonna make one left. You're gonna make one of them right. Then you're gonna pick your Maya 44. And then that's gonna be output two both of those output too. Okay, and you're going to repeat for three, for deck three and deck four. Then you're going to come down here and you're going to pick time code. I use uh, I use vinyl. I suppose it'd be the same if, if you use CD, so whatever. But uh, you're going to come down here, you're going to pick time code one. And you're going to do that twice. You, you should have again two sets because we have mono we have it set up mono so it'll say time code one then you're gonna pick left and then you're gonna hit this drop down it's gonna say my 44 USB audio as your driver and then you're gonna put input one and input two and that's gonna be for the left deck as you can see remember left deck in the, in the one and two Next, time code two. Time code two. Doubles, left and right. My 44 USB ASIO driver. And put three and four. Then, click apply. Okay, apply, okay. And that's all there is to it. Let's, uh,. Load up a track, a couple tracks. So right now, so right now we get deck one. Channel one. Now. I have a button mapped to my uh, mixer that will switch time code control from uh, 
deck one to deck two or deck one to deck three because I have I have one and three two and four so you switch over to a scratch wave and as you can see you'll see the buttons change and then that's how you control all four with two time codes and it looks like I went over the 10 minute mark so hopefully this video will be uploaded to YouTube but uh that's how you do it. Yeah.